Back on Sports Pit, Betty and Insight today, Paulie and Teddy. Big game breakdown is always live on sportsbookreview.com. The Iron Bowl, Saturday afternoon. Alabama 17 and a half, 47 the total. This is it for Nick Saban. He knows he just has to win these next few games and they'll be champs. Huge favorites in this one. 21 point favorites in the SEC title game. Who knows? It might be that much against Penn State in the first semifinal game of the college football playoff as well. So he doesn't have to blow teams out, Teddy. He just has to win, get by. Doesn't have to pull out any tricks and show and say so he can save the fake plays that Kiffin draws up as well. Well, yeah, I mean, margin means nothing, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Auburn's going to be able to do anything here. And I agree with you. After this game, Nick Saban's goalie wants to play three more. The SEC title game, the first game of the playoff, and then the national championship game. And they're all going to be against tough competition. Even if it's Penn State, even if they're laying 21, it's still going to be tough competition. But in this instance, maybe you do save something in the playbook. Maybe you don't want to pull out all the stops uh, against Auburn because you're going to need a little trickeration before this is all said and done. And maybe you don't want to show some stuff on film. But while that's Saban's goal, win, winning is enough. A one-point win here is plenty. Gus Malzahn's goal is very different. You know, through everything, all, they're going to throw everything they have at this particular ballgame. All the key players are going to go as long as they can, and nothing's going to be held back, get held back uh, from that Tigers playbook. Bama covers the first two meetings in the playoff era, but close. Last year, they were laying 15 and a half. They won 29 to 13, a late touchdown. I think there was like a minute left when they ran it in. Yep. It was Henry, I believe. Yep. And then 2014 was an aerial circus. It was 55 to 44. They uh, covered 10 in that one. Auburn has been able to uh, out physical the opponents, uh, out muscle them when they're able to, but creativity's been an issue as well. Petway's back at running back. They don't know what they're going to do with quarterback as of yet. I can't figure out how Auburn's going to move the football in, in this ball game. I, I mean, they're not a team that can throw the ball downfield. Even if White's healthy, they're not a team that can throw the ball downfield on a consistent basis. They can move the ball on the ground as well as any team, but nobody can run on Alabama. <laughs> I mean, you, I haven't seen anyone run on Alabama in any way, shape, or form this season. Uh, even some pretty good rushing attacks. Remember the LSU game? Uh, that certainly stands out to me. When you talk about can you run uh, on this Crimson Tide defense. So, you know, if I don't know if Auburn's going to score, or I don't know how much Auburn's going to score. And again, let's not forget, you know, they gave up 44 to this team just two years ago. Last year was 13. You know, uh, at 47, I don't want this game over. And at 17 and a half, I don't want the underdog. Well, that's something you always talk about. We, we talked to Jimmy Vaccaro and Nick Bogdanovich from William Hill. You are paying a Alabama tax every week. Because no matter Every what the week. line is, the public's going to bet it. Yeah, yeah. And it's not, I mean, again, the, the Crimson Tide have been a remarkable straight up and ATS story this year, but that doesn't go on indefinitely. And you're certainly not getting any point spread bargains with Alabama and talking about this point spread range in this big of a rivalry. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. So we're giving you picks every day, and you're probably making your own as well. Be sure to participate in SBR's weekly Twitter bankroll challenge. Just post your picks on Twitter with at SBR Sports Picks and the hashtag BetSBR before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, Monday through Friday. We'll be betting your picks, and if the bankroll is positive at the end of the week, you could win the profits. Picks must be of events taking place that day and available in at least one of the major sportsbooks shown in our Best Sportsbooks page.